let me see euro because i've been watching euro for the entire day only for it to drop now i think price will do something in here so i'm gonna keep an eye on this order block okay i'm gonna keep an eye on this order block because i think that's where price is looking to drop into That's what I think price is looking to drop into. Um, yeah, that's what I think price is looking to drop into. Now, because today is um, Wednesday and we have the FOMC, they can use that to reverse price. Now, if you've not noticed, uh, seasonal tendency says that we should be going up, right? And the dollar index should be coming down now again because we have been trending down i think we are in some form of accumulation so if any news is going to turn price around it could be this one coming but right? it could be the one coming at two i'm sorry um the announcement today is around seven yep seven so they can use that one to reverse price so the level that you want to be watching is this one here basically the auto block this one right so let me highlight that that's the level you want to watch um it's an engulfing candle um i've not thought about this one you call something proportion candle Proportion candle is the candle after the original order block has been created. So if this is the order block, the next candle that trades inside the order block is known as a proportion candle. And the proportion candle is very is more sensitive than the order block. So the proportion candle can hit the um, proportion proportion. Let me spell it for you. Ocean candle okay that one is very sensitive and they can use the um, they can use the high to the open and up to the mean threshold it should not go to the mean threshold so between the high and the open they can hit that and then reject so going into the afternoon or going into that rate announce um, FOMC they can use that to reverse price you can also see um, if I bring out the RSI that's right thank you English is not my I I'll check it because I think it's you I'll check it give me a second let me check it let me correct myself let me correct myself yeah I'm right <laughs> I'm right is that one it is but I think it's a T I'm, I'm being British no, it's an S it's right it's this one proportion candle no it's this one here this one is the right one Maybe I'm not pronouncing it right, but this is the right one. Okay. Now those candles, they are very sensitive. Therefore, um, from the high to the opening price, um, you can. No. Um... Yeah. 
is the order block that trades to the original order block. So this is a propulsion candle. So let's say we create an order block here and then price rallies, right? So this is the down candle and then price rallies. And then we have another up candle and then we have a down candle form here and we have another down candle trades to this order block right this down candle here if we rally back up this becomes the proportion candle this this candle here becomes a proportion candle and it's very sensitive so it's like orders were here and it then they've you know moved the orders there so there's no more order sitting in the original order block. The orders are here. So this one becomes the most sensitive um, order block. From the high to the open, we should reject once price touches it. Now, um, if price goes through the mean threshold, that means there's there's not enough orders in there. But when they form like this, it's really um, very strong. Okay, so in here, you can see once they form the order block there, price trades back down into it and then pushes away leaving a fair value gap so that becomes the proportion candle right so once it trades into that it should reject price and then shoot back up again okay so that's the level you want to be watching um, it, it can provide you with a tradable um, a tradable um, idea so what you want to be looking is basically look at your down candles as price is trading to that level and then as soon as you see a trade above a down candle i'm using the atm method that i shared with you guys i think that was yesterday using the atm method you can you know the down candle extend the high and the opening price and then you can buy that Right, so like this, the high and the opening price, okay, and then you can buy after we hit the proportion candle here, right? So you can offer a tradable idea, um, that will be around 7 p.m. We will still have the market moving, so you can use it to buy. And if you're familiar with Wyckoff, okay, you can see that there's, I think, some Wyckoff accumulation going on. We have the, um, um, I forgot the part, but all I remember is just look for three Indian patterns. So we have one, two, three runs to the downside, and then it will reject and go back up again. So you're looking for the spring in terms of Wyckoff, you're looking for the spring. And we do have divergences, divergence forming everywhere. You can see we have one here between these two we also have one here if you go into the high time frame right we have one here one two three one two three all making high highs all these making lower lows so there is some form of um, um, kind of some rejection that is potentially going to happen so keep an eye on euro